was, right? Yes. yes. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. I'm going to do something with that. I found an neat object lesson just real quick last night, and it's perfect. So, um, so this lesson is about our hearts are empty without God's love, and God means for us to share his love with others. Um, so what I have is a paper towel. I'm drawing a heart on it. So the heart looks empty, and that's because it doesn't have God's love in it. That's how we are before we accept God. Um, John 3.16, which we've heard before, So God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Um, and God didn't just say, I love you. He demonstrated it or showed it by sending his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins so that we have eternal life. And uh, Romans 5.8 says that God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Um, and love doesn't depend on something we do first. And it doesn't matter how we are or what we do. Um, he still loves us just the way we are. Um, he loves us so much. He just doesn't want us to stay the way we are, empty-hearted, without him. So, um, and then when we believe and trust in God's love through Jesus... He fills our heart with love. Telling us we have a red heart with God's love. Um, when He died on the cross, um, He fills our hearts with His love. Um, in John 14, 23, Jesus explains that when we open up our hearts to love Him, a change takes place, and through His Holy Spirit, Jesus lives in and with us. It also says, because of the change of Him filling our heart with His love, we will then want to obey him and show him we love him too. And God doesn't want us to stop there. There's more. Um, so we see these other empty hearts. Maybe we know people. I know people we know. Um, and um, when we allow God to saturate or fill our lives, his love will overflow and spread to others. So I just have water here that in the red, and hopefully the red will go up and fill some of the other hearts that I drew. So that's our, our love for Jesus pouring out to others. <laughs> um, John 7, 38. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, streams of living water will flow from within him. So that's our love flowing for others. Um, Jesus sums up all the Ten Commandments in Matthew 22, 33 to 39. Love God and love others. So that pleases God and is best for us. So God loved us first, but because he showed his love for us by Jesus dying for our sins, that we can love him back and have eternal life. But that's not all. We want to show God's love for others, too, by demonstrating that for others. So the lesson today is love God and love others. Amen. 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 Amen.